one of the bacteria we're going to identify in today's lab is Streptococcus pyogenes, also known as Group A beta streptococcus. And this is the bacterium that causes streptococcal pharyngitis or strep throat. In a previous video lesson, we learned how to streak a blood agar plate and place on a taxo A disc containing the antibiotic bacitracin. Here's a plate that's been inoculated with Streptococcus pyogenes. And uh, we can see the typical results of the Streptococcus pyogenes. We see beta hemolysis. You can see the beta hemolysis around the individual colonies, around the solid growth, but especially where the agar was stabbed, where both the hemolysins are functioning and lysing the red blood cells. So this is a complete lysis of the red blood cells in the agar, which we call beta hemolysis. We also notice the very tiny colonies, uh, smaller than the head of a pin, that are produced classically by Streptococcus pyogenes. And finally, we see a zone of inhibition around the taxo A disc containing bacitracin, showing the bacterium is sensitive to the A disc or is inhibited by bacitracin. Now you can see this nicely just by holding your plate up to the light. I'm going to take the lid off because of the reflection problems to get a little closer look. But again, you can see very clearly the beta hemolysis. You notice around again the individual colonies, there's kind of a uh, partial clearing where the hemolysins are working their way through the agar. You see that around the individual colonies, around the solid growth, and again where the agar was stabbed, where all the hemolysins are functioning, you see complete hemolysis overnight. You also see a nice zone of inhibition around the taxo A disc, uh, where there's no bacteria growing because it's sensitive to the bacitracin in the A disc. So this would be Streptococcus pyogenes or the group A beta strep. Tiny colonies, beta hemolysis, and sensitive to bacitracin.